Welcome to day 21 of my 50-day challenge doing VCV rack experiments. Today I made something completely different from yesterday. Yesterday I said I do not like programming sequencers. So I thought today I would do just that. And this is the result. I started with the 16 step sequencer for the bass melody. Let's focus on that. Um, but of course, I want to be a little bit different, so I'm not doing 16 steps, I'm doing 15 steps. Mm. And then I don't use the normal Western scale, equal tempered scale. I'm um, using this 8 tone. Buselic scale, probably Turkish or something. Anyway, you can see here um, it uses a certain intervals. Um, it's not exactly our equal temperament, although it's not too far off. It doesn't sound too alien, I guess. Anyway. So, I have the uh, sequencer, 15 steps that's being repeated all the time, and uh, quantized, going into VESEC, Volt's uh, complex analog oscillator, just gives a lovely sound, especially for uh, bassy, bassy sounds. It can do uh, stringy sounds as well quite nicely, but anyway. Um, and then sending it through a couple of uh, tangents filters because I want this to be a little bit more stereo although there isn't really a lot of difference uh, the difference between these two is tiny but anyway that's the bass and then what can we add to this right this is like a drony kind of thing uh, and going reasonably fast so I want some kind of like um, improvised organy kind of sound on top of that so I like using this quad sequencer because it has a probability setting um, which means you don't get the same notes repeated all the time but it changes so I dialed in a few notes here on the first row and I'm sending that again through the quantizer, same scale here. And uh, that goes to tides in sheep mode. And then you get somewhere here in this red bank, you get this lovely organy Hammondy sound like this. And again, I send that through a couple of tangents filters. And uh, the filters, as well as VSEC, is being, are being modulated by this LFO. It's going quite slow. Yeah. But sometimes uh, you get this sudden switch when the X's and Y's uh, I'll start switching, I guess. And also we use one of the outputs from this LFO to modulate the, uh, the P, the probability factor on a Bernoulli gate, which triggers our sequencer for the higher notes. It kind of reminds me of some like late 70s, early 80s Tangerine Dream kind of thing. Although it would probably need a couple more layers to really be Tangerine Dreamy. But, well, for today, this is my patch. Um, I'll upload it 
again to my Google Drive and uh, you can play around with it and add a couple more layers if you see fit. Hopefully uh, this inspires you to make music with Feast Feedback and uh, I hope to see you tomorrow.